Hello YouTube, I'm here from Blue Noodle Studios and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to save electricity by customising your energy saver settings on your Mac. So the first thing you need to do is just to come down into your dock and click on System Preferences. And then once you're in here you can look in this second row down and you'll see an energy saver button which has a light bulb icon. So you can click on this and then in here this is the window that we want to look at. So you can see up here we have two sliders, one for computer sleep and one for display sleep and we have some times. So what this means is computer sleep means that it's going to put the whole computer to sleep and it'll use very little power. Uh, most of the electronics will be turned off apart from a little bit just to remember where you've been so that you can just click and it'll open up to where you were before. So if you want this you can drag this down as far as you want. You can make it three minutes, you could take it up to an hour, whatever you want, but it'll save a lot of electricity if you have it on a short duration of time. So I'd probably recommend about five minutes if you want to save electricity. And then display sleep, what this means is that it's going to turn your screen off, but it isn't going to turn anything else off. So this still uses a fair bit of electricity, it does save some because the display does use a lot, uh, but it'll still have all of the other components running just as usual. So you can turn this down to maybe 3 minutes because it'll be a lot quicker to come on than if the whole computer goes to sleep. And then down here we have a few check boxes. We have put hard disks to sleep when possible, which just saves extra power if, they can, if it can. And we have wake for network access, which means that it'll come back on if it needs to uh, access file sharing options. A lot of you probably won't be using that, so just leave it checked, but don't worry about it. And then you have start up automatically after a power failure. So if the power cuts out, then when it comes back on, it'll turn back on automatically. So this is pretty handy, so I'm going to turn this on. And then down here is quite a useful option. You have a schedule button. So if you click on this, then you can see there are two check boxes. So you can set it up so that it automatically turns on at a set time and automatically turns back off at a set time. So you can say that you want it to start up every day at 7 o'clock and shut down every day at 8 p.m. And this way you don't have to spend time waiting for it to turn on or turn off because uh, a lot of the time, especially once your Mac is a few years old, it takes a long time to boot. Uh, so this can help you save power and time. So this is a great option, I definitely recommend that you look at this. Uh, you can change these scheduling options, you can say only on weekends and the time. You can say only on a certain day, maybe Wednesday. You can change this to sleep or restart. Restart. Or you can uncheck one. So it's totally customizable. Again, I definitely recommend trying that out. And yeah, that's really all I wanted to show you in this video, but they're definitely handy tips. It will definitely help you save a lot of electricity uh, because as you know, computers use a lot of electricity. So again, thanks for watching today's video. Make sure that you like it and subscribe to my channel if you think it helped you out. And I'll see you guys later.